All right, let's take a look at this Opus Grinder. Don't know how many people are gonna be online spontaneously, but I thought, what the heck, let's do it. So here we go. Reapply the All right, this is gonna be a super spontaneous video here. I just received this a few minutes ago from the post. Uh, so I thought let's open it up. It's a much smaller package than what I was expecting. So it's also very light, just 3.5 kilos. Jelly beans, could you come please check the framing of the video? Mouse? All right, so let's just open this up one time and see what the grinder looks like, how the quality is, the build, the materials, and just get a general impression of the grinder. Hopefully the framing is okay. So here we are. That right there is the box. Pretty nice marketing on the box. Fellow Opus Conical Burr Grinder for Espresso and Coffee. So I would say just looking at the packaging, looking at the, the time they spent putting it into the graphical design. Um, yeah, the whole marking of the thing looks pretty good. Let's have a look inside at the grinder itself. Hello. All right, so here we got some reading materials. Register the product. I'm, I'm guessing to get a, the guarantee registered. Here we got some information. I think we know how to use it. I'll read that later. And here's the interesting part, the grinder itself. So here we are. Come on out. Here is the fellow Opus. All right, so I have heard a lot about fellow products. I know that their Ode is super popular and it gets a lot of praise. The Ode 2 is out now too, and those are both known to be like for pour over coffee. This one is main f meant for espresso. So, I'm looking for a grinder that I can recommend that's going to be in a like pretty decent price range for people to get into espresso. This is only 200 bucks. That is a pretty cheap price. So here's the catch cup. Stay on that side of the camera, please, okay? This is the catch cup right there. You've probably seen other videos of that. It's got um, like a funnel on it to pour out. That's kind of nice. It's got a porta filter insert so that you can put your porta filter on there, tip it over, and then empty it right into your porta filter. Also got like a little ring that you can put on top otherwise. Um, but yeah, we're not going to use that. We're going to use this one here. And oh, yeah. Do you see that? That is magnetic as well. So that's a really nice feature. I love anything with magnets, super nice. And uh, if we look inside, it's got a scale here for where the espresso is for where I'm guessing pour over French press, cold brew, all those things are there on here. So you have a nice idea of where you gotta be. Also, if you remove the bean hopper, let's just have a look here inside. If you remove the bean hopper, you can see inside here, this is the burr right in there. You can remove that. It looks quite similar to the burrs that you see on Baratza products, on the Breville Smart Grinder Pro kind of products, that kind of thing. Very similar design there. And then the special thing about this one, 
is that it's got this adjustment collar here so you can adjust the grind to be either coarser or finer I think that probably makes it go finer there so yeah let's just try that and let's plug this in one time and see what it sounds like by the way this thing is really easy to pick up it's super oops <laughs> super light very very light uh yeah pretty nuts so let's go over and plug it in live video here so excuse the mess and the lack of organization. There we go. So unplug this one, put this one in. All right, that is the old right there. Let's click it on once. You see it's got timing here. So 30 seconds is one short press. That's not bad, actually, not too loud. Let's go ahead and adjust the grind on there right away. From six, five, three, two. Let's just try it there on two and see what it looks like when we put some beans in there. So I got some beans here. And we are going to measure out 16 grams make ourselves a cappuccino and see how it looks all right so here we are Pour that in here and first of all you want to see how loud this is got the catch cup in place perfect here we go Okay, so that took about 24 seconds for 16 grams. So that actually takes yeah, a fair amount of time to grind. But it looks like a pretty nice, pretty nice fine grind there. Uh, yeah, nice and fine. It is not clumpy, which is great. It's also not staticky. That's awesome. So let's put it in the DeLonghi and see how it turns out. Put my, there we go. I probably should have measured that to see how much retention it has. That'll have to be another video. This is just a spontaneous check to see how it looks in general. So, there we go. Use this for my tamper mat. Yeah, I don't think there's 16 that went in there. There's probably a gram of retention, at least. But let's have a look. And again, uh, obviously the grinder's not dialed in. I don't know how it's going to do. But let's just let's just see. Let me tear it out.
Well, a little too fine, it looks like. But it should make it through. I mean, I kind of like to go a little bit too fine compared to too coarse in the beginning. I can just coarsen it up a little bit. In the next shot, I'll probably open it up two notches, and I bet you it'll be pretty close already to at least uh, having a good two to one ratio in the correct time. But yeah, already it's pretty nice uh, ergonomically to work with, especially due to the fact that the grinds seem to have a good consistency. Um, yeah, it's flowing pretty nice now at this point. And there's hardly any static, so that's great. Also, the, the motor's not too loud. It does take forever. I'm surprised at how long it takes to grind, but that's okay. All right, so there's uh, there's our two to one ratio. It did take almost a minute, that's too long. Maybe let's go ahead and make another one. So here, here is the shot. Looks pretty good, I'm gonna taste it. Wow. That's not bad. Pretty smooth, pretty smooth actually. I'm using a very nice fresh beans, so it's quite delightful. Jelly beans, would you like to drink this shot? All right, I would say let's just do the same thing. Let's open up the grind by two notches and see how that works out. So, can I do this one-handed? I'm gonna open up the grind. One, oops, one, two clicks. Call that good. This time we're going to weigh it out. Let's go ahead and do that and see. I'm sorry that the scale is dirty, I know. But let's go ahead and see how much we get out. Okay, so right now it's teared. Tear that. And I'm gonna put 16 in. 12. 15.3. 16. 16, good, 16.1. Let's see how much we get out this time. Okay, we got 15.3 out. So it does uh, does suffer from some retention, about 0.6 grams there in that case. But that's not that unusual, to be honest. Anyway, let's go ahead and prepare our puck. There we go. Stump that in there. Excellent. I have the feeling this is gonna be a little better. So I'll do a little bit of WD teen as well. I mean, the grinds, they come out looking really, really excellent. Super, I mean, without a microscope or without um, one of those kits to check exactly the size of the grains, it's hard to you know really say quantitatively, but it looks good from an eyeball standpoint. So that looks pretty nice, doesn't it? All right, let's tamp that sucker one time. You need something, cutie? Because this is my tamping mat. Okay. That's what the puck looks like right there. It looks pretty nice. I'm going to put that 
up in there and let's try our second shot see what that looks like all right there we go tear that out oops and let's just move this over a little bit get a slightly better view good deal and here we go Yeah, that looks like it's going to be too fine also by a bit. Maybe I have to open it up uh, one or two more clicks, but it's still looking pretty darn good. Certainly can't complain about that. I mean, way better than the grinder that I have been using lately, which is the DeLonghi KG89. That's super, super inconsistent. Yeah, so far I'm quite liking this one. All right, here we got 30 grams in 44 seconds. That's also too long, but I say if we open it up a couple more, we'll be good to go. And that's the shot right there. You can see full of crema because it's got some robusta in that blend. It's just a delightful, super fresh bean. And yeah, oof, that looks good. Mmm. That's got some complexity to it. It's a pretty intense shot leaning yeah it's got just a slight slight woody taste you might want to actually increase the temperature a little bit get more sweetness out of it it does got have a, a little tinge uh bittersweet chocolate but it's a nice shot it's not sour or uh not sour or bitter maybe just slight bit of astringency but i think that's more from the delonghi i think if i put these grinds to the test from this grinder in a more capable machine would do quite good so that is it for the box opening and initial impression of the fellow opus. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. And if so, please give it a like. Check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. Until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.